Hindi pa sumisikat ang araw ay nagsisimula na sa paglilingkod ang mga volunteers ng feeding program ng San Lorenzo Ruiz Parish. Abala na sila sa paghahanda at pagluluto ng tanghalian sa higit dalawandaang bata at ilang senior sa mga mission areas na nakapalibot sa parokya. Ito ang naging buhay nila simula pa noong 2019. Araw-araw ay sumasakay ng tricycle, lumalakad sa mga masisikip na eskinita, gilid ng creek o makipot na tulay, maihatid lamang ang mga munting baunan sa mga tahanan. Hindi naging hadlang ang pandemya sa paghahatid ng tulong sa mga bata upang mapanatiling malakas ang kanilang pangangatawan. Nagpapasalamat kami sa lahat ng magigiting na volunteers ng SLRP Feeding Program, lalong-lalo na sa mga foundations and benefactors para sa kanilang walang sawang suporta. Inaanyayahan po namin kayo na tumulong, mag-abot ng makakaya upang mapanatiling buhay, mulat at kumikilos ang San Lorenzo. A blessed afternoon to all. Please all kneel for the Horatio Imperata for COVID-19 virus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 
We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Please stand for the Angelus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, made by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is the 29th Sunday in Ordinary Times, Sunday for Cultures, and the theme of our celebration is The Power of Persevering Prayer. On this 29th Sunday in Ordinary Time, the Church invites us to reflect on the power of persevering prayer. Faith can move mountains, but prayer can also move the heart of God. But for prayer to produce such a wonderful effect, it must be rooted in humble faith, that is, in the sincere conviction that we are in God's hands and that He loves us immensely, in spite of our unworthiness. If we have this disposition of heart, we will avoid the two aberrations of wanting to impose our will on God or of giving up praying, prayer if our requests are not granted immediately. Our prayer must always be patterned after that of Jesus and end with the petition, Your will, not mine, be done. As we observe Sunday for cultures, let us appreciate our own culture, even as we respect the cultures of other peoples. At the same time, let us also remember that no culture is perfect and that some cultures may also contain customs and tradition that are not compatible with the gospel principles and values. It is our duty to point this out and to do our best to affirm what is just and right and to correct what is not. The celebrant of today's Mass is Reverend Father Robertos S.C.J.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, good evening. Good evening, Father. We are prayerful person. And today in our gathering, we are invited again to reflect on our prayer life, why we need to be suffering in prayer. So sisters and brothers, preparing ourselves for the sacred mysteries, first of all, let us humble ourselves in front of this altar, asking God to forgive all our sins. God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, grant that we may always confirm our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Israelites' victory over the Amalekites proves the vi vital importance of the prayer of intercession, especially in the challenging moments of our life. A reading from the book of Exodus. In those days, Amalek come and wage war against Israel. Moses, therefore, said to Joshua, Pick out certain men, and tomorrow go out and engage Amalek in battle. I will be standing on top of the hill with the staff of God in my hand. So Joshua did as Moses told him. He engaged Amalek in battle after Moses had climbed to the top of the hill with Aaron and Hur. As long as Moses kept his hands raised up, Israel had the better of the fight. But when he let his hands rest, Amalek had the better of the fight. Moses' hands, however, grew tired. So they put a rock in place for him to sit on. Meanwhile, Aaron and Hur supported his hands, one on one side and one on the other, so that his hands remained steady till sunset. And Joshua mowed down Amalek and his people with the edge of the sword. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Our help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. I lift up my eyes toward the mountains. Whence shall help come to me? My help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Our help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. May he not suffer your foot to slip. May he slumber not who guards you. Indeed, he neither slumbers nor sleeps, the guardian of Israel. Our help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. The Lord is your guardian. The Lord is your shade. He is beside you at your right hand. The sun shall not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. Our help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. The Lord will guard you from all evil. He will guard your life. The Lord will guard your coming and your going, both now and forever. Our help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Writing, from prison to his beloved disciple, Timothy, the Apostle Paul reminds him and us of the immense value of sacred scripture and of the duty to proclaim its message with courage. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, remain faithful to what you have learned and believed because you know from whom you learned it, and that from infancy you have known the sacred scriptures, which are capable of giving you wisdom for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful for teaching, for refutation, for correction, and for training in righteousness, so that one who belongs to God may be competent, equipped for every good work. I charge you in the presence of God 
and of Christ Jesus, who will judge the living and the dead, and by his appearing and his kingly power, proclaim the word. Be persistent, whether it is convenient or inconvenient. Convince, reprimand, encourage through all patience and teaching. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. The Word of God is living and effective, discerning reflections and thoughts of the heart. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples a parable about the necessity for them to pray always without becoming weary. He said, There was a judge in a certain town who neither feared God nor respected any human being. And a widow in the town used to come to him and say, Render a just decision for me against my adversary. For a long time, the judge was unwilling. But eventually, he thought, While it is true that I neither fear God nor respect any human being, because this widow keeps bothering me, I shall deliver a just decision for her, lest she finally come and strike me. The Lord said, Pay attention to what the dishonest judge says. Will not God then secure the rights of his chosen ones who call out to him day and night? Will he be slow to answer them? I tell you, he will see to it that justice is done for them speedily. But when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, I believe that you all are prayerful, I said earlier. And I believe 
that we are all already know the purpose of praying and I believe also that each of you each of us have our own experience in praying maybe sometime we pray intentionally but sometime our prayer life getting slower getting no heart just pray saying words in prayer without meaning without intention maybe it happens and i believe this is normal as our human experience but today as the theme of this celebration the power of preserving prayer it is invite uh, invitation for us to review our prayer life and to make clarity why we really need to pray as we know sisters and brothers Jesus in his teaching in the gospel today he told his disciples a parable about the necessity to pray always without becoming weary to pray without becoming weary why praying in whatever intention my sisters and brothers it means communication to God communication spoken or unspoken means talking to God who cannot be seen by our physical sight it seems so funny right talking to the invisible one but this is what happens in prayer so the communication will become a prayer if there is faith so the question again is do we really pray with faith faith makes us know that God hear us faith encourages us to always surrender to the will of God who is most gracious and merciful that is the purpose of Jesus teaching that we should pray like the we do in his parable today we know we those are considered unimportant in the time of Jesus they didn't have full voice in the society but in his parable the widow is the example of his teaching because of her persistence in begging in coming to the church finally the widow was able to change the mind of the stubborn judge so sisters and brothers moreover for us if we pray tirelessly and full of faith surely God will favor us because God is merciful in the end of the gospel today Jesus asked will he slow to answer the chosen ones remember we are the chosen ones of god we become believers and followers of christ because we are chosen and because we are chosen we have the right to always come like the widow to him we have the right to always ask we have the right to always try 
like Moses when one day he was finally defeated the Amalekian. So sisters and brothers, let us ask the Lord for a faith that is essential prayer, preserving like the widow in the parable or like Moses in the first reading. A faith that nourishes our desire for his coming. In prayer, we experience the compassionate God who like a father comes to encounter his children. God who full of merciful love. So sisters and brothers, let not be lost heart. Let us always perseverance, persistence in prayer life. Please stand. I believe in one God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, lights from lights, through God from through God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary and became man. For, For our, our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe, I believe in the Holy, in the Holy Spirit, Spirit, the Lord, the, the giver of life, of life who, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, Catholic and apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, and, and the, the life, life of, of the, the world, world to, come. to come. Amen. Amen. Sisters and brothers, encouraged by the example of Moses and the persistent widow, with humble faith, let us present our to the Lord our petitions for the needs of all mankind. Let our response be, we beseech you, Lord, hear us. We beseech you, Lord, hear us. For the Catholic Church, the universal sacrament of salvation, may she obtain the abundance of God's blessings for all mankind through her liturgy and the prayers of all her members. Let us pray. We beseech you, Lord, hear us. For the Holy Father, our Bishop, and all religious leaders, may they continue to guide us with courage, always trusting in God's unfailing help. Let us pray. We beseech you, Lord, hear us. For all those who are working for justice and peace in our country and in other parts of the world, may they find in all Christian communities the support they deserve. Let us pray. We beseech you, Lord, hear us. For all those who treasure the Filipino culture, may we appreciate and live its authentic values, but also let go of customs and lifestyles which are not compatible with, God, with the gospel values. Let us pray. 
we beseech you, Lord, hear us. For all of us and all the people dear to us, may we persevere in prayer, trusting not in our merits, but in the abundance of God's mercy and love. Let us pray. We beseech you, Lord, hear us. Let us pray in silence for personal intentions and for all the intentions offered in this Holy Mass. Let us pray. We beseech you, Lord, hear us. Lord God, accept us today. In spite of our unworthiness, make us humble and preserving in our prayer that we may receive the gifts of eternal life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. sisters and brothers that my sacrifice and yours our lives our intentions in our lives may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church grant us Lord we pray a sincere respect for your gifts that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by in the very mysteries we serve. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Hol Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. 
In him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in his fullness. For through he, he was in the form of God, he emptied himself, and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him he become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy, and therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like that you fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Roberto, our Bishop, and all the clergy, religious, and those who minister in the church. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the lights of your face. Have mercy on us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
through him and he, with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Brothers and sisters, at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Sisters and brothers, the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace. Sisters and brothers, behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, 
but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. act of spiritual communion my jesus i believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament i love you above all things and i desire to receive you into my soul since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart i embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. stand let us pray grant O Lord we pray that benefiting from participation in heavenly things we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepare for the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord Amen Please be seated for some announcements. Mga paalaala, una, mayroon po tayong second collection, tulong para sa mga mission partners ng ating diocese. Ikalawa, sa November 1, All Saints Day, ay magkakaroon po tayo ng Parade of Saints. Inaanyayahan po ang mga bata na lumahok sa activity na ito 
sa pamamagitan ng pagdadamit bilang kanilang paboritong santo. Magsisimula po ang parada sa ganap na alas tres ng hapon at magtatapos sa banal na misa sa alas singko ng hapon. Kaugnay dito ay mamimigay din po tayo ng mga loot bags para sa mga higit dalawang daan na mga batang lalahok sa paradang ito. Inaanyayahan po ang lahat na mag-donate ng candies, chocolates at iba't ibang treats. Pakidala na lang po ito sa ating Paris office hanggang October 29. At panghuli, para sa inyong love offering, maaari po ninyo itong ipadala via GCash o ideposito sa Metro Bank o maaari ring personal na ibigay sa ating Paris office. Naka-flash po sa ating screen ang GCash QR code, Metro Bank account details at ang mga numerong maaari ninyong tawagan upang makipag-ugnayan sa ating Paris office. Ang ating Paris office po ay bukas mula 8 a.m. hanggang 5 p.m. Maraming salamat po sa inyong walang sawang suporta sa ating parokya. At tumayo po ang lahat. Ay. Ay. Sorry. Ah... Uh, Upo muna po tayo sandali. Pasensya na po. Dahil ngayon po ay ikatlong linggo sa buwan na ito, narito po ang PYM coordinator para magbigay ng panimulang pagbati sa kanilang inihandang presentasyon ngayong gabi. Magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. Ako po si Milen Dumaging, coordinator ng PYM. Bilang ngayon na ikatlong linggo sa buwan na ito, ngayon po ay Youth Sunday. Sa kada araw na ito ay naghahanda ng animation dance. Ang pamagat nito ay Liwana, ang bagong team song ng Novel Liches Diocesan Youth Ministry. Pinapahiwatig ng kantang ito na tayong mga kabataang novelenyo ay maaaring magbigay liwanag kaya ipumumulat natin ito sa mga kapwa natin kabataan at ibahagi ang mabuting balita mula sa Diyos. Hindi ko na po ito patatagalin pa, Ipaki ipinapakilala ko po muli ang PYM Animators. Thank you. 
Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat, sa inyong presensya, preserving and persistent in prayer. Jesus invites us to pray without becoming weary. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, the Mass has been offered. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us go in peace to glorify the Lord with our lives. Thanks be to God.